yeah good evening everyone so welcome back to our class so today in this session we are going to discuss about the important concept regarding the rational numbers of mathematics okay so the name of the topic which you are going to discuss right now is about the standard form okay it is a very very important topic standard form so what do we call that one standard form okay so expressing a given rational number in its standard form so how we are going to convert that given rational number into its standard form now we have to learn that process okay in the previous session of the previous class we have discussed about how to express a rational number as a sum of integer and rational number but right now in this session we are going to concentrate on how to convert a given rational number into its standard form okay so remember the heading expressing a rational number in its standard form standard form we have to keep in mind and this topic is very very important for one mark questions and as well as for the bit paper so fill in the blank type or multiple choice questions also okay standard form so remember the heading expressing a rational number in its standard form so for expressing a given rational number in its standard form there are mainly two important steps to be followed how many are there two important steps we need to follow in order to express a given rational number in the standard form then what are the two important steps we have to know so first of all why expressing a given rational number into its standard form always keep in mind that denominator should be positive denominator should never be negative okay it should never be negative always keep in mind that denominator part should be positive so what is the rule first one denominator part should be always positive it should not be negative that is the first step and second step okay second step so after converting that negative denominator into positive denominator try to cancel the numerator and denominator if possible okay that is nothing but cancellation of the terms okay if possible after converting that negative denominator into positive denominator cancel the numerator and denominator if possible if there is no chance of cancellation leave like that as it is okay so what are the two important steps to express the given rational number into its standard form we need to follow two important steps the first important step is so what is the first important step what we have discussed about that denominator should be always a positive that is the first step and second step cancellation of the part okay if there is any chance of cancellation try to make it happen otherwise leave the rational number as it is but the first important step is denominator should be always positive so by keeping these two points in our mind let us start a few examples to express that given rational number into a standard form see here i have written standard form with two important rules so what is the first important rule if you could observe on the board denominator should be positive as i already told you the denominator should be positive and second one if there is any chance of cancellation we shall try it for the cancellation of the terms otherwise leave like that but the condition is denominator should be positive so now let us move into the example okay so first of all you see this one 9 by 15 so 9 by 15 is the given rational number so expressing that rational number means rational number is given rational number what is the given rational number 9 by 15 so this is 9 by 15 it should be expressed in which form standard form so in order to convert this 9 by 15 into its standard form what is the first step denominator should be positive so here what is the denominator 15 so 15 is obviously positive so we need not to convert it again correct or not so directly denominator is always positive here so here no issue and what is the second step cancellation so first step is 9 by 15 so there is no issue with the denominator and second step cancellation so if you select three table okay so in three table three threes are 9 and three fives are 15 so finally 3 by 5 is the standard form of 9 by 15 is that clear so denominator should be positive and the second step if there is any chance of cancellation we shall try to make it happen otherwise leave the fraction as it is okay so this is the model okay and the second example if you could see here minus 8 divided by 2 
So what is the given rational number? Given rational number is minus 8 divided by 2. So to express this rational number into standard form, what is the first step? Denominator should be positive. So here what is the denominator? 2. So 2 is positive only. So there is no chance of any issue. And second one, cancellation. So check that. Is there any chance of cancellation? Minus 8 divided by 2 means in 2 table 1 time, 2 table 4 times. So finally minus 4 is the standard form for minus 8 by 2. Is that clear or not? So let us move for the third example. So what is the third example? 4 divided by minus 11. So keep in mind that 4 divided by minus 11. So here if you could observe here the given rational number is 4 by minus 11. So to express this rational number into standard form what is the first important point? Denominator should be positive. So observe the question is it positive? So here it is not positive. Here it is minus 11. It is negative. Correct or not? So first to try to convert that negative denominator into Denominator should be positive. So denominator should be positive means we have to convert this negative denominator into positive denominator by multiplying and dividing with minus 1. Is it clear or not? So 4 by minus 11 it should be multiplied with minus 1 and as well as divided with minus 1 so that the negative denominator is going to be converted to positive. So finally 4 into minus 1 minus 4 divided by minus 11 into minus 1. So minus into minus will become plus 11 into 1, 11, 11. So finally minus 4 by 11. So obviously the denominator has become positive. So first condition has been satisfied. And second step is there any chance of cancellation? So there is no chance of cancellation because 4 and 11 are not possible in any table. So leave like that. Okay. So this is the minus 4 by 11 is the standard form for 4 by minus 11. Is that clear? The fourth example if you could see here minus 3 divided by minus 7. So here obviously there is no chance of any problem. So directly minus and minus can be converted into positive and finally left over is 3 by 7. So 3 by 7 what is the standard form here first step means denominator should be positive. So 7 is positive. So there is no any issue. Is there any chance of cancellation? So there is no chance of cancellation. So leave like that. So 3 by 7 is the standard form. Is that clear everyone? Okay. So fifth one you see here. So 2, 4 by 9. So what kind of fraction it is? It is a kind of mixed fraction. Correct on. So it is a kind of mixed fraction. So 2, 4 by 9. So how can we convert this one? 9 to 18. 18 plus 4. 22 divided by 9. So 22 divided by 9. So to express this rational number into standard form, what is the first step here? The denominator should be positive. So what is the denominator here? 9. So 9 is a positive. So there is no any issue. And second one, cancellation. Is there any chance of cancellation? So 22 and 9 are not possible in any table. So directly you can do like uh, 22 by 9. Is that clear? And if we go for the sixth example. So what is the sixth example? Minus 8. 2 by 11. So minus 8, 2 by 11. So if you could observe here, just separate the minus and write remaining as this 8, 2 by 11. So I am separating that minus by keeping on bracket. Okay. So finally, minus 11 into 8, 88, 88 plus 2, 90 by 11. So finally, minus 90 by 11. So, what is the first step here? Denominator should be positive. So, here 11. So, 11 is positive only. So, there is no any chance of drawback. And second one, cancellation is, is there any chance of cancellation? So, here there is no chance of cancellation. So, leave like that. So, minus 90 by 11 is the standard form for minus 8, 2 by 11. And the last one is, see here, 0 0.2 is there. So, 0 0.2 means if you could observe here, point is there after how many digits? one digits so finally 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 because point is there only after one digit so we can write as 2 by 10 so 2 by 10 means here to express this 2 by 10 in standard form what is the first step here denominator should be positive so denominator what is the denominator here 10 so 10 is here positive only so there is no any chance of issue and second one cancellation is there any chance of cancellation 2 by 10 means 2 once 2, 5. So finally, 1 by 5 is the standard form for 
0.2 so it's very very important and simple model so how to express a given dash number into standard form is only two rules are there the first one is always the denominator should be in positive and second one if there is any chance of cancellation we will try to make it happen otherwise leave the rational number as it is so this is the concept of standard form is it clear so good evening have a nice day